welcome back at Sandy here and today I'm playing with some new products from Spellbinders. This is the Layered Cherry Blossoms and the Sweet Leaf Mini Slimline and we're going to make a couple of cards with these today. So I have already die cut a whole pile of this so that this video is not 10 miles long and what I'm going to do is I've got all the little pieces set up and I'm going to show you how I put them together and so I've got each set underneath each of the dies and I'm using the Cursed Flamingo Distress Oxide ink and this little guy is from Waffle Flowers. It's a shader brush and these things are fabulous. They're just brand new from uh, Waffle Flowers and I ordered a sample pack that comes with four different sizes just to try them out and I'm definitely going back and buying the rest of them. They are awesome. Great little brushes for adding ink to your special little pieces of die cuts. Now you see for most of the flowers, I'm starting the color at the bottom, but when you get into these layers and there's going to be one or more layers over top of your background piece, to help get a little bit more definition, I colored the entire back piece with the pink so that when the other pieces were glued over top, you could still see the pink sticking out the top so that the flower looked like it had a lot of depth in it. So right there, see how I did the top of that one? And then the front pieces, I'm only doing the bottom portion. So they're gonna be white against the pink in the background. So this little guy, embellishment wand, it comes in very handy for picking up all these little pieces and layering them together. And I'm using the Barely Art Glue, my favorite glue because it's got that awesome tip on it. And you can get that at Spellbinders or Simon Says Stamps. And I'm starting from the back and working my way to the front with each one of these, just adding a little dab of glue and then attaching the little green piece at the bottom. Aren't they cute? And these dies are so intricate. It's They've got beautiful lines in them. Just It gives it so much detail in the flower without having to do a whole bunch of extra work. The die cutting does all the work for you. So another little half-opened petal for that one. Okay, and it falls apart just as I pick it up. <laughs> Murphy's Law, you know it always happens on camera. Okay, so we're gluing that little piece back together, and I don't know, good thing I got spares, that's all I can say. That one's not very straight. Okay, and then the final little buds, these are just the little tiny guys that got one or two pieces. Some of them I only used one of the pieces, some of them I used both of them. Um, because it's so small, it gets quite thick by the time you stick all three pieces on there. So have a go at it, see which way you like it. Okay, and so that ended up being, what, four pieces on that one with the little green thing at the bottom. And we have all our pieces ready to start putting our card together. This Sweet Leaf Mini Slimlined die cuts beautifully, but if you have a few pieces stuck in there, just use your tool in one to dig it out. And the card base for this, you want to cut it at seven by six and a half, and then you're going to score and fold at three and a half. That gives you a nice quarter inch border around your mini slimline card front. So again, I'm using the extra fine tip on my Barely Art Glue and I'm not gluing behind every single leaf. Not necessary by the time you get all the other stuff piled on top of it. And so just um, definitely go around the outside. You want a nice professional looking finished product. And so laying down the outside and gluing it well will help you achieve that. Okay, so now I am going to tape this thing closed so that I can work on top of it because I'm going to addition all the pieces that I got and see where I want to put everything. As you can see, I cut my stems out of Nina Desert Storm, which is kind of a craft colored cardstock. And I'm just kind of fiddling. I want to leave enough room on the right hand side for a sentiment. And so I think I kind of like where I've got these placed. So I'm going to do the permanent thing and glue them down. Okay. Second one. This is what I think is the really fun part about these is you get to create your own branches and, you know, leaves and flowers. It's very creative. Okay, so there's my base point. So now I'm going to start placing my flowers and I'm bending each one of them a little bit just to give them a little bit more depth. And you can also pull the centers up a little bit and add to that. And so I have got a white 
flower behind each one of the ones that I have colored. So that gives me lots of depth in my flower and really looks like, you know, there's lots of blossoms on this little tree. So I'm trying to find one more white one, bending it a little bit, coming in with another pink one behind. I'm trying to get three on that branch, but then I discovered that I had that little half opened uh, bloom. So I wanted that at the bottom. And again, just fuss with them until you get what you like. And then you're going to just glue them all down. Now here's the leaves, and I did them in two colors, a light green and a dark green, um, Rainforest and Peridot. And again, I am just positioning all of these, and then I'm going to come back in and just add a bit of glue on the back of each one. And there you go, all the gluing's done. Okay, for my sentiment, I decided on... Yana Sentiments Glimmer Hot Foils. And as you can see, I've done them in black and white with gold foil, and I'm just auditioning, trying to see which one I like. I think I ended up with Best Wishes because I need more birthday cards. Okay, final step. We have a whole bunch of gems. These are the Spellbinders gems that come in a variety of pretty colors. There was pinks and turquoises. Uh, I ended up deciding on gold because I have a little bit of gold in my sentiment and I wanted to kind of uh, mirror that together in other places on the card. So I added the gold. And there we go. Finished card. For my second card, we're going to flip the background, the Leaf Mini Slimline, the other way. I'm still using the Larry Cherry Blossoms, and I'm using the Fluted Classic Circles, the small one, for my sentiment this time. Again, this time I'm not using white flowers. I've cut them out of colored cardstock, and I got an assorted pack from Spellbinders, and there was a light and a dark shade of coral in there, so that's what I'm using. And to add some color, I'm using uh, Distressed Oxide's Abandoned Coral to the center of my flowers. And my leaves are cut out of a light moss green from Basil. And I'm using the Evergreen Boughs Distress Oxides to add a little bit of a darker color to the leaves and the centers for my flowers. And I'm using that same cool little stencil brush. So I tried to decide which colors I wanted for my background. I went with that craft color and dark stems. And then behind this one, I did white with the lighter coral behind. And that's the one I decided on for today's card. So I'm just uh, layering this last flower together. All the rest are already glued. So just showing you how I glued those pieces. And where we've got everything that we need to start putting the card together. This one's not going to be as full as the previous card that we made. Um, I wanted a softer and cleaner and simpler card. And I'm patting my white craft plate because I absolutely love this craft mat. It's a glass one and it's magnetic. So see how I grab those little magnets just to hold my card in place while I'm doing my additioning of where I want everything to go holds everything in place for me. It's super cool. I have a link in the bottom of my uh, post on my blog where you can get yourself one of these lovely white glass mats. Okay, so this time I'm putting all my flowers and everything to the left-hand side, as you can see. Next, I'm going to lay down my circle that is going to be my home for my sentiment. I wish I'd done this on the other card because I think it defines it a little bit more. And again, I am just bending my flowers a little bit to give them a little bit more depth, bending the centers forward and dry fitting them onto my card to see where I want to glue them down. And I've got a couple of petals there and my sentiment. Okay, so I think I'm happy with that. I'm gonna fuss with it a little bit and then I'm going to glue it all down. So again, my Barely Art glue with my fine tip. Love that thing. I've been using the same bottle of glue since I think last June. And I can't, like seriously, you know how many cards I make. I am still on the same bottle of glue. These things are awesome. Love the tip. Love how much glue is in the bottle. Love that it dries clear. And it doesn't dry right away. As you can see, I have time to fuss and move things around. Okay, so now we're going to pop the leaves in. And I'm just going to add as I go. I have lots of leaves. But again, I'm trying to make this a, a little bit more clean and simple card. So I have not doubled up on the leaves like I did on the last one. I'm just doing single layer. 
and I'm just gluing at the bottom so that the top kind of sticks up a little bit and that adds a little bit of depth to my card as well. And lastly, I'm going to put a couple around my sentiment just to help frame it out a little bit and draw the eye into the center of the sentiment. There we go. I think I'm liking that. Oh no, I got one more. There's that little branch sticking out at the top there and I decide it needs one of the small leaves on it. There. Again, with the embellishments, and I can't find any that are the coral colors. So again, I'm going with the gold ones. And apparently I need to order some more because they are my favorite. Uh, these packs have a light and a dark gold in each one. So the top uh, half is light gold and the bottom half is dark gold. I'm using the light gold on these because it really matches the gold foil that I was using on my sentiment. And if you wanted some more gold uh, on this card, you could make the centers of those flowers. Uh, you could cut them out of the gold uh, mirror cardstock and that would look nice as well. Okay, so I added three around the sentiments and I'm adding five around the flowers. I like odd numbers. I think they look nicer together. And I'm using a lot of the little ones because I've used up all my medium sized ones. So there we go. There's another card finished. Isn't it pretty? And they're fast. So there's my two card shares for you today. There is a link underneath this video to my blog and also to all the products that I used. Pop over to my blog for a detailed description of these um, and links to the store where you can purchase all of the items I used today. And if you enjoyed today's video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends. And until next time, toodles!